the arts, 501 to 1100. During this period, most artistic expression was for religious purposes, but religious authorities did encourage the development of arts, music, and crafts. Churches, mosques, and temples attracted the finest crafts workers and musicians. Religious feeling encouraged them to stretch their talents to create delicate, elaborate works. Gifted people were usually educated by religious authorities. Ordinary people bore many hardships, but religion allowed them to think of higher matters and pray for better times, at least in the afterlife. Even though warlike rulers often had a gentle religious side to them, and often brought artists, musicians, poets, and thinkers to their courts, turning a court into a cultural center. This earned a ruler not only God's approval, but also that of society and learned scholars. Temple churches and mosques were wealthy and used the arts to communicate religious stories and ideas. At this time, most people could not read or write, and many religious ceremonies were performed in foreign languages. So pictures, music, carvings, mosaics, and architecture were all used for teaching and raising people's spirits. Each culture developed its own artistic, musical, and literary style. Byzantine churches were decorated with mosaics and holy pictures called icons. In Europe's monastery, monks spent long hours copying books by hand. They illuminated or decorated the capital letters of cities and borders with pages of detailed designs. Muslims speculated in calligraphy, or beautiful handwriting, and in making elaborate geometrical patterns on their buildings. Buddhists in Asia painted stories of the life in the Buddha. In Tang and Song, China, they painted and carved new kinds of landscape, art, and natural images. In Mexico, manuscripts, stone carvings, and murals or wall paintings were common.